One of the things I'm really, really proud of, and when I took over this program, I knew that it was something amazing is how many NCAA appearances they had made and how many 21 seasons. I didn't want to have any let offs. Good. So in two years, we're able to go to postseason play both years and hopefully we'll be able to do that this year as well. But being able to go to seven NCAA tournaments seven years in a row is a credit to the hard work that the players have put in. The success has been amazing. I mean, we don't really think about it when it's happening, but looking back on things, it's like, wow, we, we really, we've worked hard for what we've done. The wins are just going to come just because you're playing good basketball. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with our non-conference schedule, too. Ready? Go! Our non-conference schedule was so tough, but we learned lessons throughout the way that got us to the point where we are right now in the A-10. Playing the tough schedules that Coach Cardoza um, schedules for us, it's great. It's great for us as a team. It allows us to see where we need to be, where we are. Just the competition we play being so tough prepares us for later on down the line, especially the non-conference games. With the A-10 being so tough and having such great talent in the A-10 itself. The Atlantic 10 definitely is a tough conference. I think it's getting tougher um, as the years go by, which is a good thing because you know you want to play against the best teams. There's four teams that made it to the NCAA tournament, and this year it's no easier. The success that we've been having for the past two years, it's it's been great. I mean, we work hard. Talk to your teammates, Queen, and don't get frustrated with them. Just demand more from them. We've been working on our offense, and I think our defense is always going to be what it is. Sit, Joel, sit. Move your feet, Joel. Move them. Move them. Go get it. We're doing so well because of our defense, and you know, our, everything starts with our defense, it turns into our offense, and just we've been, been able to do well against a lot of the top teams because we're Good. defending, and Good. we're really playing Good. with a lot of confidence right now. Good, Good. that's one or two. As January came, we jailed together, and we just been playing like we know how to play, and everybody's on the same page. Good. We have to continue, go, go, go. you know, playing good defense. Defense is what got us here, and defense is what's gonna um, bring us further. Our success this year, and particularly in the conference, has been because of what the kids have brought into defensively, and that's how we think that we can get a championship. Again, this is another opportunity for us to get out, put ourselves in position to win a big five championship. So let's make sure we come tomorrow ready to play defense, all right? Ready to shut this kid down and shut them down, all right? Here you go. Let's go. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. We want to finish out and win the big five, and as well as make it to the A-10 tournament and win that as well. One of the things that we definitely want to keep alive is the A-10 championships that Temple has won, and there have been four in the last 10 years, I believe it is, and we want to definitely try to, to add to that. I'm seeing it being a trophy definitely wants me to get one here. Like, we want an A-10 trophy. We want to have a banner up there that we know that we were a part of that banner. It puts more desire in you to, to be able to reach where you, what you have reached before and just to continue to get better. And it makes me want to get more. Yeah, we have banners and trophies, but we're trying to go further than we did last year and a, a couple of years back. So we're just trying to go all the way. Our ultimate goal right now is to win the A-10 championship. The last one was in 06, so there's no one on the team right now that has an Atlantic 10 title. Um, everyone's really hungry. We've been working really hard. Good, Joel. Good, Chris. We love kids that you know have a passion for basketball, that have goals to um, try to reach. We really want that. I think that's a, our biggest goal is to get the A-10 championship and then get past the second round on the NCAA tournament. That's the ultimate goal. So you win the A-10, you get an automatic bid for the NCAA tournament. We love to be in the NCAA tournament. Just progress from there. Just every year, just make it a little bit further, a little bit further. I know how important it is for my players to get one. You know, that's something that they've talked about since the day that I got here, that they want to win an A-10 tournament. They want to, you know, make it to the next round in the NCAA tournament. So that's what motivates me so that they could get something. And of course, obviously, I would be happy with that as well. You know, just so that they can walk away with, with something like that, that's important for any player. We have to believe in ourselves and just know that we can do it. Like, we can't, like, hope we can do it or have doubts. Like, we have to believe in each other and believe in ourselves and know that we're just as good as anybody else out there. We play the way that we know how to play, then we could be successful and go as far as we want to go. 
Inside Temple Basketball was brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University.